Hi, this is Victoria Nolle, and here with me again is Mr. John Chinda, a lawyer from Nigeria. He is a PhD candidate at the Center for Energy, Petroleum, Mineral and Policy at the University of Dundee. In our previous videos, we talked about biofuels. We also talked about the issue of faith and PhD research. In this video, we want to focus on managing work and your PhD research. But before we start, I would like Mr. Chinda to briefly introduce himself again. I am John Chinda. I'm a Nigerian, a lawyer by profession, and I'm also a PhD candidate at the Center for Energy, Petroleum, Law, Mineral and Policy. All right, so in this video, we want to talk about the issue of working while doing your PhD. Uh, myself, I spent all the three years, actually two and a half years, working in different places. I worked in Brussels, I worked in Botswana, Tanzania, in Uganda, and I was doing different projects. And at the same time, I was doing my PhD. John himself, he is working and he's managing his PhD research. So as international students, definitely in most cases, we need to work because the cost of living is very high in the UK. So you need to get the money and at the same time, you need to make sure that you can finalize your PhD in time. So, John, what are the key issues to consider when you are working and at the same time conducting your PhD research? You know, Victoria, you said something in the previous video. You said you need to believe in yourself. Yes. I'll start from that point. Now, <clears throat> I must say that the PhD journey is a sweet one, but full of distractions. And the working is one distraction. Mm -hmm. But if you can believe in yourself, then it's a lot easier for you to take that road, right? So yes, working will help you. It's also dependent on the kind of work you're going into. Now, you made mention of where you have worked. I must appreciate you for those feats. And um, it's important to note that if your work is tilting towards academics, where you can go research for what is within your research area, then it's a lot easier because you are doing two things at the same time. Yeah. You are gathering information for your research and then you are also doing your research in the course of your work. You are being paid for it. Um, yeah, I have been given um, a little job here to do. And uh, oh yes, it's still within my areas of interest. Okay, so it's important for us to know that there is a need for you to draw out your table on how to go about your job and your research. You don't spend all the time on your job because your research will suffer. You also don't spend all the time on your research because your job will suffer. Now, let's note that in, in the UK here, your payment is made on the hourly basis. So if you're not seen in the office, definitely you will not get paid. And if you don't get paid, the challenges you have is with paying your fees. So I think basically that one when you believe in yourself, and you structure your table, your timetable, to fit in, that would, to a great extent, lively up or reduce the stress, whatever stress you may have. Um, talking of stress, it's also important to note that whenever there is stress, as a result of either your fate or your job, please take time out to rest. To rest. Uh, that is all I have for managing your work and, and uh, research and I want to use this opportunity if you permit me yes, please. to um, appreciate everyone at the CPMLP, mm -hmm. University of Dundee and to tell my teaming friends, your fans, your friends also mm -hmm. and my fans as well mm -hmm. to if you're thinking of coming to read or research in any field of energy in the world please don't waste time we're expecting you at the University of Dundee CPMLP. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Thank you very much, thank John. You, you. And thank you, our viewers. You've heard John. If you want to do your research in energy, contact him. By the way, he's managing the long distance. Distant learning. Yeah, one long, of the tutors. Yes, yes. He's one of the tutors. So contact him. And if you have uh, matters with respect to energy law in Nigeria, you can still contact him. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be bringing you more experts from different countries. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.